Abby Lee Miller is known for her tough coaching and choreography on the Lifetime reality series, Dance Moms. Wherever Abby goes, there's sure to be dancing and drama. Come on, girls. Abby. This is so beneath me. I'm not sticking around for their crap. I could care less what they think or what they say. This is a dance competition. I'm Abby Lee Miller. I know what I'm doing. You know her as the no-nonsense coach from Dance Moms. Abby Lee Miller's tough-talking approach to teaching teens to dance made her famous on screen. Hit the road, Jack. There's always another kid, always. I just don't understand. But her off-screen behavior sent her to prison. But after serving eight months for fraud and fighting her way back to freedom, she had no idea that the fight of her life was about to begin. Abby Lee Miller joins us now along with Dr. Lawrence Pirro. And Abby, thank you for being here. At the end of that tape, what we see is you laying in a hospital bed. Yes. Can you tell us what was going on at that point? Well, at that point, uh, I was trying to get to the bottom of what was going on. I went to six doctors in 10 days. I thought I just had a sinus infection. I had a headache, just didn't feel right. So I went to an urgent care place and just to get a Z pack. And then the next day, the doctor texts me and says, your blood work is so crazy. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Please come back in here. So day three, I went back to the urgent care place. I walked in and she looked at me and said, you should be in a coma the way your blood looks. And I had this pain in my neck. And then it got increasingly worse. It was blinding. I was walking around, my arms were always waving above my head. It just alleviated the pain a little bit to put my arms up. I knew something was wrong. And at this point in time, did you have any concept of what was going on? Absolutely not. Since I was taking so much thyroid, synthroid medicine, uh, they kind of thought it was a thyroid storm that I was in. And they stuck with that, and then they kind of kept going with that, and I knew that wasn't what it was. Maybe that was the onset of what it was, but I don't think they had any answers. And instead of digging and finding something, they just kept sending me home. The emergency room doctor looked at me and said, go home, take it easy, seven to 10 days, you'll be fine. I would have died. It seems like there were, there were a lot of issues both medically speaking, but then symptomatically you were having these issues, but you were ultimately back out in the world off on your own well, and no, tons and tons of pain Let's remember, I'm in a halfway house at this point. So I'm sleeping on a piece of metal slab, all right? So you're, you're out of the hospital back at a halfway house. In a halfway house. 